Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some PuffCat Plunder. We got a donation deck here to play this deck that is one of my favorites to play. I really like both of these champions. We are going to be playing a Teemo deck and a Teemo deck where we're really focused on giving our opponent Puff Caps with Puff Cap Peddler and Chumpwump, but you know, especially Peddler and a bunch of spells. And our other champion is Sejuani. And these two work really well together because whenever your opponent draws a Puff Cap, that does trigger Plunder. That's them taking damage per turn. And so then that, that's you damaging the enemy Nexus. And so all you got to do is damage the enemy Nexus in five different rounds. Your Sejuani's leveled up. And then uh, each round, whenever they draw a card, if it has a Puff Cap, Frostbite all enemies. Because that would be the first time you damage the enemy Nexus that turn. Um, so that's pretty awesome. And then you can you can get them to the point where if you can get them having enough Puff Caps where every single draw is a Puff Cap, you're Frostbiting all their enemies every single turn. And they just can't kill you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, going with that, we're going with two Tusk Raiders in here. This is a card that I really haven't played very much. 8-mana, um, 7-7. Seven, seven. It's, uh, you know, 8-mana, like 7-7, seven, seven, where you also have to be able to turn on Plunder. Um, it's kind of hard to to have this thing, you know, reliably turn on Plunder. But hopefully with this deck, with them drawing the Puff Caps, we can uh, have this be more reliable we'll draw a sejuani and that's going to be super important because having sejuani in the late game is really important plus we double the power and health of allies in the deck so that's not bad either we can use starlet because of all our spells we can use starlet seer to create some very large units and what we're going with here is we're going to be playing sumpworks map so that those large units we can give them elusive and finish the game with that and then we just got a bunch of defensive elements we have omen hawk and shared spoils that both help grow the top of the deck um and then a bunch of yeah a bunch of defensive elements to back up our game plan okay so here we go let's go play some ranked yeah this isn't an s tier deck but it's a lot of fun to play because it's it's the best deck that takes advantage of the puff cap mechanic and putting puff caps into your opponent's deck and using that as a realistic win con not using just teemo as just some other uh champion that's you know just a one drop that's hitting them for one um and so definitely like that cool get some get some feel good wins in here and the losses aren't even that feel baddy that's that's what i like to hear all right we're gonna mulligan all these i could keep icefield archer but icefield archer probably isn't that good in this matchup sure they'll just have like a hapless aristocrat or an omen hawk or something like that that blocks it or they'll just use like an avalanche and kill it and that kind of thing so i want to look for more high impact cards than nice fill archer i'm hoping we get to strike them turn our sejuani on and then shared spoils okay we don't get to do that I am not going to Elixir of Iron and save this. We'll, we'll wait on Elixir of Iron. <clears throat> that would have been really good to be able to have that. Alright, I'm just going to hit them with Mystic Shot. All right, so they're up two cards on me. We're gonna have a pretty big Sejuani. Yep, there's Catalyst of Aeons. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> that was definitely the card I did not want to see. I'm gonna wait on Mushroom Cloud. I'm just gonna wait one turn. And see, okay. Dang, that's that's really bad that we got two Sejuanis. That's pretty bad. Just wanted to wait one turn and to see if we drew Starlet Seer or Puffcat Peddler.
and maybe I should just be holding it still. It just it costs zero, you know, it costs zero mana right there to play it with the thermogenic beam coming up. You own what you take. Well, at least if they have vengeance, I got a backup. They should wait for combat for that. I'll just kill that. They likely would have blocked. I mean, maybe they would have just blocked anyway, but if they do that during combat, they could keep their spider alive. So I'd certainly challenge it with um, hmm. I don't know. I have to be worried. Man, Ruination's a card. I don't know. Maybe I should have just played Sejuani right now. Um... Basically because of Ruination, I didn't play the Popcap Peddler last turn. One candle for every soul. Okay. So we can use this on the Doesn't really matter. They're the same card. This on there. Let's see, they may not cast. Who would face me? May not cast Ruination anymore, but they still possibly could. You get this Tusk Raider turned on quickly. This is not good. I don't know if y'all figured that out yet or not. This is not good. Four Mother's Call is a strong card. Man, and these cards that they're getting for free are just taking their puff caps also. Come on. I want to cast this Elixir of Iron to double the puff caps that Teemo gives, but I don't want to do it before they play something. Cool. 
cool. All right, so that levels up Teemo. We're going back up to 20. We gotta level up this Sejuani. It's gonna be really important leveling up the Sejuani and frostbiting their enemies every single turn. Alright, double those up. I'm I'm obviously never basically never casting this Fury of the North. Whenever they kill Sejuani, we need another one. Perfect. Good. They drew a puff cap. We gotta get. We have to have them keep drawing puff caps, and then keep frostbite and everything. Chump Wump's a great draw. Not only is it a 10-8, but that gives me some more mushroom clouds to go give them more puff caps. So basically, as long as they don't, they're just passing. How how worried about ruination? As long as they don't have ruination, I'm satisfied. Do I play another thing into ruination? Hail striders. These are dark omens. The problem is, I don't think I can attack with Sejuani. I can't risk that thing dying. The problem is Glimpse Beyond. They can they can block with Trindamir, Glimpse Beyond their Trindamir. It dies and comes back as the like 11-11 and kills my Sejuani. Force them to use like hard removal on Sejuani and then have a backup Sejuani afterwards. So it's probably just not even worth like even doing this attack. Like this is probably just yeah, like this honestly just isn't worth it. Oh right, because that could just level up anyway. Yeah, this is worth it. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Trindamir only would have got plus one attack. You're right. Okay, so we are going to go Puff Cap Peddler, get our second Peddler in here. We're going to kill the 7-7? Seven, seven? I mean, I guess Teemo is just going to die from a Nevia attack. That hurts. That hurts. They have to draw a puff cap every single turn. Maybe I should have just Fury of the North and hit him with the the Teemo. Last turn. The spirit of winter awakens. Yes. No, oh, don't draw that many. I mean, well, I mean, you can draw like 10, but <laughs> make sure you still keep on drawing more puff caps. I'm glad that we don't have to worry about like Trindamir level up tricks anymore. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. It obliterated their own She Who Wanders. That's cool. Oh, could talk. Oh, am I right? run red! Oh. 
love it. That's ex that is the exact card I wanted. Go get him, Teemo. Go get him. They can't cast Ruination because they lose because my Sejuani's fear my Sejuani. I'm sure they're worried about that. You know, because they may be thinking cast Ruination. They can't really do that. I protect this place. I mean, I could go for Lethal Fury of the North on Teemo, but I'm not going to risk it. I don't know what the... I don't... What, what's the risk? Them having... Um... Alright, well now they're Anivia's dead too. So that's cool. You own what you take. The risk would be like... Grass the Undying. Nice! Drew another five puff caps. Dead! Plus the file piece. Something like that. No, that's not a risk. Then... We Vengeance? I don't know. Hey, Randani. Yeah, that was a good game right there. I got to outlast War Mother's Call. Give him all those puff caps. And because especially because they had less cards in their deck because their War Mother's Call kept on taking stuff out of their deck. So then whenever we'd give them puff caps, they'd have less cards for those puff caps to be spread across over. So that was even better for us. <laughs> yeah, they were probably pretty frustrated. Their stuff getting frostbitten every turn. They're like looking at all those huge units and all those Trindomirs and stuff, and they're like just zero power every turn. All right, playing against Overwhelm. Well, I will keep shot and beam. I wish I had the attack token turn on. I guess Thermogenic Beam is a valuable removal spell for the larger units where Mystic Shot isn't going to be killing the larger units, but we're also saving life right there. It's just unclear whether or not that saving of life will be better than having thermogenic beam for later um, The least amount of damage would be do this, do this, Mystic Shot, that thing. And we still take three. Um. Yeah, I guess so. Obviously this hurts. And I want to do this before damage because I want the Starlet Seer ability. But obviously this hurts. Losing those. Hey, Mom, still not the yodel in uniform. Nothing but Nazi and might. Remember, whenever Chump Womp was a four four. Day. Ride for Noxo! 
Keep on trading stuff with me and then having me take three damage. Yeah, I think so. I think I think sacrificing Teemo to protect the three damage was, was worth it. Because it was going to be really hard for me to deal with that three. It's like I didn't have a good answer for that three one for anything else. Like if I don't do that, then that three one's trading with like one of my four threes here. And I don't love trading Teemo for. All right, I don't love trading like these four threes for the three ones. So I guess I just kind of had to trade Teemo instead. Mine is the hand of Noxus. Your command, General Darius. Um. I should I should play peddler first and then that I would have gave him three puff caps. I, sh I should play I should just play the peddler first. I knew I was gonna be playing peddler. I should play it first. We could have eleven instead of eight. Hopefully not, not too much more. Extra damage. Yeah, I was looking for a low cost unit that could be pump, puffed up quite a bit. Yeah, you know, maybe like a four or five starless here. We're gonna go down to two at best. So young. They will bleed for Noxus. Doesn't give me a high probability of winning. Trying our best. We tried our best. Sometimes your Noxus opponent just has turn one Legion Saboteur, turn two Legion Grenadier. Turn three, I don't know, whatever that four three overwhelm is. Turn four, the four the six four overwhelm. Turn five, uh, two two drops, including the thing that does damage to us. Turn six, Darius. Sometimes they just have all that. And we were still at twelve when they played turn six Darius, it's just then they had, you know, Noxion Fervor and Decimate for turn seven. me. Okay, so we're going to keep Omen Hawk and Elixir of Iron. Them being a small damage based deck. 
Elixir of Iron's a good one. Fortunately, this is not the time for me to have Teemo. It's going to be easy for them to kill Teemo with like a Make It Rain. Um, yeah, the Subworks map doesn't really do much. Could like surprise block a, an Ezreal maybe later because of the Sumpworks map. I'm gonna wait a little bit on the Teemo. Don't blink or you miss me. Yes. Yeah, there's a bug that just happened with the new patch that you can see the you can see the deck names, and so that's why I just have my decks named as current deck right now. Yeah, you can see the see the deck names right now. And yeah, that's a a bug that's not supposed to be there. <clears throat> so they could go Twisted Fate Gold card, and then I'd have then I'd have the ability to play Teemo. Three, three, Teemo. Now we're talking. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Harsh wins. We needed you last turn again. We needed heart. We needed this card last game against Darius. We don't need it this game against the Ezreal fate at all. This harsh wins is yeah, doing nothing. You stand on cold shots. All right, we're gonna gonna level up this Teemo. Okay, I like having the elixir of iron. I cast the Teemo mushroom cloud also. Why not? Give him another five. They're kind of deck that loves to draw cards. Let's let's give him some puff caps. Before they start drawing all those cards. Love it. 38 puff caps. Oh, they're just gonna draw my cards? No, don't draw my cards. My cards are all buffed up and cool. Um, basically, I don't. I just don't really want to attack with the 5-4, they block with the 3-3, three, three, and then this thing dies really easily. I don't know, I just felt like just holding back on defense instead. Oh, come on, and they don't even draw a puff cap? Have a mushroom. Have three. I, got ways to find a mushroom. I know, my cards are great. You don't have to show me, my cards are great, I know. That was my mystic shot. 
Puff caps. They still drew zero puff caps again. My other harsh ones. Time for a true display of skill. Grow free. Draw six puff caps. One. That's not six. Well, that went really, really well for them. Three, three draws with all these puff caps, and they got one. Oh well, it happens sometimes, I guess. Um, yeah, Ezreal's leveled up, which means they have the Mushroom Clouds. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't stay alive here. Like, what I'm gonna do? Mystic Shop both these at the Riptide Rex. All these kill. Yeah, I can't stay alive. I had some good luck. I had some good nabs also. Nabbing, you know, Puff Cat Peddler, Chump Wump. Those are cards that I would have loved to draw. You think Plunder needs to be units striking the Nexus? Be pretty difficult to turn on. Be a pretty difficult keyword to turn on at that point. Cool. I'm glad we get to play this match again. Yeah, the harsh winds was rough too. Okay, this is better. I like having these cards. Not a bad hand. We don't have a hand that can stop Ezreal. I, I don't want them to have turn three Ezreal and then just keep hitting us and making mystic shots and stuff. It's not usually what Ezreal decks are all a boot, but that is sometimes what they're a boot. Okay, this next turn I'm probably going to just double spell Starlet Seer plus Teemo. Um, puts the most, you know, puts uh, four or five worth of stats in play with two cards instead of three, three worth of stats. It's the most pressure. No, that was the worst make it rain. Literally the worst make it rain. <laughs> Unreal. Uh... You got legs. Use them. Sure. One of them to hit me and hit Omen Hawk. Would have rather had that. 
die. Many tribes under one yeah, I expected to make it rain, but I, I still played the Teemo into it because wanted to be able to go wide. It's not bad. That's a good game for them. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Oh, that's great. I play Avaros and Hearthguard, and then they just nab the stuff at the bottom, and it's all gonna cost one less because of Black Market Merchant. I shouldn't have said that I was excited to play against this deck again. This is what I this is what I get for saying that. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Or whoops, am I right? Oh, that's a harvest right there. They grow up so fast. Pilfer, I, I don't, I mean, they, they are going to make, you know, tomorrow Pilfer Goods will cost three mana. I, I don't really think that's as big of a problem, though, as this reducing the, the cost of the cards. I think that's just the one thing that, that they've just kind of overlooked with everything. I think this could still just be a 2-2, two -two, just, you know, 2-2, two -two, nab one. Um, it's just that the cost reduction is is really the most frustrating part, and I... I don't understand why the cost reduction is even there. Like, just why? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, like that's what. I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get why that has to be a thing. You own what you take. It doesn't make sense. If they're playing my cards at my mana cost, you know, that's that's kind of fine, but you know, playing one mana mystic shot that that other turn and just other things costing less, it just Like it just doesn't even make sense like the like just the flavor behind it. Why? Why would this is like I don't know, like does it steal it and like sell it on the black mar the black market or something? You know, the black market merchant so like it's cost less cuz it's on the black market? Like is that is that the Is that the but I guess I guess that's why. Like that, like that's the card theme. Bring me chaos. Stand and fight. Excuse you. So my cards are going to cost less and be buffed. <laughs> cost less because of Black Market Merchant and then buffed because of Hearth Card. So they get the combo.
All right, looking for another Sejuani. Playing this because if they go to attacks, I want this 3-3 to block the 7-4. Which I guess I could have had the 4-1 the block the 7-4. Just fine. Would a mushroom help? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Right now. Check me out. Time for a true display of skill. And I'm stealing my jump one. It's just so perfect with Ezreal. So perfect with Ezreal. Stop stealing my chump lumps. Give me the chump lumps. I'm gonna play those. We did play two chump lumps that game. I stole the other one. Petty Officer looked great. That game, Petty Officer, was was really incredible. That card looks a lot better being a 3-2 now than it was as a 3-1. Deck um, seems to always have turn 8 Riptide Rex. Tide Rex is still pretty awesome. Another day in the field. Yeah, get him, Timo. All right, feeling good about this game. Kind of waited because of Elixir of Iron. We see through all. Get him, Starless Seer. What will you have? <laughs> all right, good night, Static Sing. Oh no! Oh, oh, it's Rand Danny's leaving to go get food. Never mind. Ran Danny. Have a good night getting some food. There was a little fella asking for me. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Could cast the Mystic Shot. No. Don't have the attack token. And just you know, get the plus one, plus one on the next thing. And I guess it would have helped Sejuani level up as well. never know when I'm attacking, do I? I never have that right.
Yeah, I don't think Plunder needs a nerf either. I guess the one thing is I, I do wish the Black Market Merchant didn't make it cost one less, but I guess that's the the theory behind it is it's stolen and then sold on the, the Black Market so it costs less. A true Fragiorian will So the Swain's pretty big. From the savage cold. I'm gonna frost. I'm gonna go frostbite vulnerable over there instead of at Swain. Be a great time to have like some card draw. That was a good. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. That's not a bad card to draw. Um. Victory awaits. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're really doing about this whole Swain Leviathan bit. Basically, we lose now. We'll see. We'll see. We need to get them more puff caps, for sure, because we need we need them to be drawing puff caps and Sejuani frostbiting them. Good. And that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll just cast that. We can... Yeah, we'll still have Mystic the Nexus available. We can... Yeah, we can Mystic, Mystic the Nexus to Frostbite the team at some point, whenever we want. Um, yeah, I guess I guess we probably should just be Mysticking the Leviathan, shouldn't we? Oh my gosh, another one. So now they have two Ravenous Flocks that can kill Sejuani also. Um, yeah, I mean, this is probably over. I mean, I guess we get Elixir of Iron, but a second Leviathan. Not and ready. I tried. We tried. Did kind of seem like we needed some card advantage. Like we, like our, our decks, you know, built on 
on uh, wanting to play long games with, with the puff caps, but we were running out of steam quite a bit. There's not very much card advantage to play, like just straight up card draw to play in these regions besides like progress day. Um, there's not, you know, like a, you know, a four mana draw to. As far as I know. Anything like that. Um, yeah, I would, yeah, that's, that's something. I, yeah, I would prefer sentries over Ice Veil Archers. Ice Veil Archer is better against Noxus. We can definitely tell that our, our deck is tuned against Noxus with Ice Veil Archer and Harsh Winds. Those cards, you know, being for the Noxus matchup. But the, those non, I mean, I guess our, the last deck we, we played was technically Noxus, but you know, it wasn't the Noxus aggro. Those non Noxus decks were just kind of out grinding us. Um, and they're just drawing, drawing too many cards and out grinding us. I mean, that other deck didn't necessarily draw too many cards. They had their eight mana ships and we didn't have our eight mana ships. I don't know if our Tusk Raiders would have beat their Leviathans. Um, I don't, there's just not really anything to do about those large, you know, you just can't, there's not really anything to do about Leviathan plus Swain in these regions. That's just something that happens. Rummage, uh, yeah, no, not really. No, we, you really need, you, you want to be casting your Mushroom Clouds. You don't want to discard those. Those are really good cards to cast. Um, they're great for your Starlet Seer, your Puff Cat Peddler, your Teemo, your whole game plan with the Sejuani and everything. You, you don't want to discard, uh, anything like that. Rummage would be, Rummage would be for, like, um, these cards, like, like, uh, that you don't need in certain matchups, like Sumpworks Map, Harsh Winds, Static Shock. Uh, those kind of cards you don't really need, but Static Shock just at least draws you a card. So, no, I don't think this is a Rummage deck. Um, yeah, I mean, you could play Clump of Wumps instead of Sentry, I suppose. Your random card in your deck is going to be stronger than a Mushroom Cloud. As far as, like, Sentry versus Clump, Clump of Wumps. I've played this deck before. Whenever I played this deck the last time, I played Babbling Bjerg, and I was pretty happy with Babbling Bjerg. Um, I don't think I had the Hearth Guard, and so like I had it set up so like Babbling Bjerg would draw Sejuani's. I was pretty happy with that. That's an option. Um, heck, maybe, heck, maybe back alley barkeep. The problem is like four mana is like where oh you got that your your chump lumps are already at four mana, and so you know this could be a lot of four mana stuff if you want to go the back alley barkeep route to create random cards you could do that with rummage you know like could have rummage plus barkeep that could be an option and then you take your crappy random cards and you rummage them away for good cards yeah some perks map wasn't good I wasn't really impressed with that card. Uh, yeah, I was, wasn't too impressed with that card. But I can see I can see times where Sumpworks Map, or I mean, Sumpworks Map's a it's a high variance card. Like this is a card that either does nothing or can win games. It's very high variance. Um, Anyway, there we go. Yeah, yeah, the map map is like uh, is a finisher when you have stuff that's like been pumped up with Starlet Seer or um, or anything, and you want it just like a a threat that they can't block. That you just put a big elusive unit in play. There we go. That's what the Sumpworks map is for. I don't love it. I don't. I don't love it. I could see that being Flash of Brilliance. 
What would Flash of Brilliance create? Because, you know, Flash of Brilliance would be like a free spell to play for Starlet Seer and Puff Cat Peddler. And then Hextech Transmogulator, not a bad one. Harsh Winds, not a bad one. Aurora Porealis is really expensive, but not bad. It creates a bunch of spells for you to cast and a bunch of ways to use mana if we're how we're sitting there not having any mana. Um, innovations, kind of bad. Pack Mentality, bad. Uh, True Shot Barrage, good. Winner's Breath, could be good if you have your Sejuani, Frostbite, all their stuff. Battle Fury, good. Progress Day, good. War Mother's Call, probably good. This is probably a good, this is a good War Mother's Call deck. So maybe, maybe instead of two Sumpworks map, maybe you just go to Flash of Brilliance and just, uh, you know, create your expensive spell with that and also get a free trigger for Peddler and Starlet Seer. Whoops. That's an option, another option to think about. Yeah, so that, that could work well. It's another it's another high variance card, but um yeah, it can give it can get you some some awesome spells to be able to cast. And it looks like these regions have some good stuff. It looks like a lot of them are pretty good. You know, um yeah, harsh harsh winds, progress day, warm mother's call, barrage, winner's breath. It looks like you got some some good stuff. Battle Fury on Teemo. That's always great. Or of course Battle Fury on Sejuani. All right, so that's, that's another thing. Yeah, so that's one to maybe think about, maybe try out. Um, there instead of those maps. I could see that. All right, Puffcat Peddler, done. We got one more deck to play today. Yasuo. <laughs> My Yuki is kind of messing up, but no, nobody this whole time let me know that Yasuo was misspelled. There we go, Yasuo. <laughs> Not Yasuo. Anyway, Yasuo Swain, that'll be our next deck. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, if you've been playing this kind of archetype, feel free to leave some comments about it. If you you know got anything different, got any suggestions, anything like that, love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching some Puffcat Plunder, and I'll see you for the next video.